cars in the top five behind our point leader. And Sarah Kwana Ching returns here to Salem. She loves it. But it looks like Frank Kimmel's going to go to the high side and take that spot away. Fans are going crazy. Kimmel was asked after the first Salem race, would you mind running this blue black 22 for Cunningham? He said, absolutely. This is a nine-time Salem Speedway winner. Put it on for the fans here, going after his teammate and the lead here at his home track. The place is going crazy as Frank Kimmel down to the inside. It looks like he's going to try to get that spot away from Chase Briscoe as they head to turn three. He need up his tires here quick. He's got to make the move. Now Bell fills the hole on the outside. We'll see if Frank can hang out a second. It just doesn't look like the bottom groove can get going whenever they get down there into three and four. He's still fighting for second spot there, trying to push Christopher Bell to the high line. He needs the clear Christopher Bell off of turn number two. He's not able to do it. They're getting really close to running out of room up there in turn three. Frank Kimmel not speaking a lot to his crew here in the Cunningham Motorsports pits. They changed two tires on that 22 car. Frank Kimmel has a lot of laps, has had a lot of success here at Salem Speedway. He knows winning this race is a product of being patient and being there at the end. He is not pushing that car hard right now. Kimmel trying to be in position for the end, taking it easy in that number 22 car. And here we are with Paul Andrews, crew chief for Frank Kimmel here tonight. I know that race car is not handling to Frank's uh, liking right now. What did you guys do on that stop? Yeah, we're just trying to tighten it up. We, uh, we're we really tight in the middle, and then we uh, we freed it up too much and you know, up off, so we had to tighten, to tighten up the exit a little bit for him. It's really a mystery when they're tight in one part, loose in the other, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, we're just doing all we can here. Frank's, uh, Frank's done a good job for us. We've kind of struggled a little bit in practice with the same situation here, but uh, we just went a little too far now. You got one of those young rookies in your hot rod this weekend. Has it been a big adjustment to get used to Frank's driving style? Uh, not really. A little bit, though, but it's because he just drives different, you know, which is fine, and uh, we're just trying to make it all right for him. A lot of success here at Salem Speedway for Frank Kimmel. If anybody can get him running up back at the front, it's uh, Paul Andrews, a former Winston Cup championship crew chief back for in uh, 1992 with Alan Kowicki. Yep, Frank Kimmel has contact with uh, the wall, having lost a right front tire. For more on that, let's go down and check in with Charlie in the pits. Frank Kimmel bringing out the caution flag. You see the sparks coming from the right front fender of that automobile. They are going to go to the right side, get those right side general tires off. There you see the tire coming off that right front corner, deflated. A lot of smoke coming off of there, but uh, tough way to uh, end his competitive run here tonight. But Frank Kimmel still uh, has a pretty good shot to pick up a very solid finish as that tire. Uh, there you see a lot of smoke coming off that right front, but a flat right front for Frank Kimmel. Tough way to end his night. Super run by Brad Holmes. He'll finish third tonight. You see Frank Kimmel back in 13th. Obviously a big disappointment for local fans and his nephew Will will finish 18th.